All right, so today in our RV, I am installing a 42G Pepwave antenna. This is actually a roof mounted uh, antenna and it goes to our Pepwave dual duo uh, modem. So as of right now, I have this here and you can see all the antennas right there. And basically what the external antenna does is it allows us to take all these connections uh, where these antennas are which go to this, okay? And it puts it up on the roof so you can have a better signal. So I wanna walk you through what I'm doing right now. Uh, I just drilled holes, so I wanna step you through how I determined where I was gonna drill the holes in my roof. And yeah, so let me flip the camera around and I'll show you what I'm working with. So over here, I have my workstation. This is where I have my computer and I can work from back here. And above that, we actually have cabinets back here. Now, one thing to be aware of in whatever rig you have is your AC uh, unit will have, some of them have ducts. And in this case, our AC unit's over here and we have what they call a track. So they kind of cross and they come over here. So I know over here that I'm good, okay? Now, one thing I wanted to do, so I determined that I wanna put it in, in this cabinet here. It's out of the way. And you can see I just drilled a hole uh, right there and I'll, I'll step you through exactly what I'm doing here so it makes sense. So the first thing that I did was I got a uh, three, let me see, what is this? It's a three eighths drill bit right here, okay? And that is what I was going to drill my pilot hole with. And then I'm gonna step up here and I think this is one in three quarters let me see yeah uh, one and three quarter drill okay now for this specific one um, some people will say well that actually doesn't cover this right here which you know spins off and it's a little clip this is actually gonna come all the way off you don't need this so for one and three quarters this bit right here will actually cover the whole amount once I take that off you don't need that with the 3m and then of course I'm gonna die core it okay so here is the procedure uh, that I did here to, to make this happen, all right? First and foremost, I came up here and I actually have a depth stretch um, scope right here. And it, it's attached to a camera, which is, it attaches the phone that I'm filming this on right now. Um, but what I did is I actually said, okay, what access points do I have to actually look into the ceiling? And there's this light right here, okay? So I popped that light out and I put my scope up in there just to kind of see what's going on. And I knew by doing that, that right about here, okay, not into the cabinet, but here, um, there was a stud, okay? And it was blocking my view. So what I decided to do was I got, um, actually I left, we sold the house and everything and I, I put into storage my stud finder. So I just went to home, De uh, Lowe's, Home Depot and pick this up and I came up here just kind of looking where should I be careful for okay and as you move this one it'll actually tell you where there's something at which is actually pretty cool so what I found is I'll tell you in a second but so what I did is I used this 3 8 drill bit which coincidentally enough allowed me to get my scope in there so all I did was I took this as a placement right here and I started it. So I said, okay, this is where this is where I want it to go, right here. And I didn't drill all the way through. I just started with the little one. So that way I know I had the clearance on the right side, all right? Then I took the 3 8 drill bit and I got a hole in there so I could get my scope up through, all right? And it looked clear. One thing I failed to miss though, was this stud right here, okay? You can see that I started to jaw into it a little bit, cut into it, and I stopped. But I have enough clearance, I have enough clearance there to get my, my wires through. So what I did is I took the 3 8 and I just went all, I took my scope and I made sure it was good, and I drilled all the way through, and you can see it to skylight. So now I know where I need to go on the top side, and I will take the 
this here. I might even cut, set it down and then cut the diameter with a knife. Um, I saw that on mobile must have as a way to not uh, tear up and pull the membrane on your roof. So I'll be getting up on the roof next. I'll be coming down and I'll feed it down. And then I'll be back with you guys to show you the progress. Okay, quick side note, since I was at it and I was already on the roof, uh, when we were in Yosemite, I had realized that our gutters, uh, water was leaking underneath the gutter. Let me show you where it was coming out. And it was actually leaking down the side. So instead of making it to the spigot over here, it was underneath the gutter, passing uh, the seal and coming down. So since I had the caulking out and I was up on the roof, all I did was I cleaned the top of the gut where the membrane meets it, meets the gutter, and I sealed from that spot all the way back. Now, I don't have time right now to do the whole thing, but it's worth an inspect. I may look at that uh, in doing more. And here is a pro tip. I can't take credit for this. I actually just found this on uh, YouTube, but I discovered an amazing way to seal uh, your, your Dicor or whatever caulking that you're using. So a lot of uh, RVers, you know, we have these for the poop, right? So all you do is take some scissors, cut that off, cut off a finger, slide it over, and with your caulking gun, you can see right there, just get some in there and that'll seal it. So uh, I'm gonna see how this works because I do have some more work to do on this and we'll see. So back inside uh, and we'll pick this up at another time. I'll share with you guys the results uh, once that's all, you know, tucked in and good to go. Okay, so we got the antenna up uh, on the roof and I've sealed it up. So I'm gonna show you what I have going on inside, all right? So let me flip this around and show you what I'm working with. Okay, so first off, for now, uh, this is where I have the outlet and I just have the cord running up into the cabinet, which it will still shut. There's a gap right here. I may end up drilling holes here, but for resale value, I don't know if I'm gonna do that quite yet. Um, so let's go up here and show you what I got. So here are the cords coming down. Uh, right now I have storage in here and I don't have this mounted up yet, but I have the wires wound up right here. I have them plugged into the modem and I don't have this mounted right now, but I'm considering uh, using Velcro on the side right there. Okay, so that is it for now. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments down below and I will hopefully leave some links down there, affiliate links, if you click them and make a purchase of the stuff that I list here, I will get an affiliate commission and it helps with uh, supporting this channel. So I appreciate you guys for watching. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you want more RV videos, our journey is just starting out. So go ahead and subscribe. This is Nathan, Freedom Life Adventures. I'll see you on the next video.